Well, hello, welcome back friends. Welcome back to Mystery Island. <laughs> so glad that you're here. Oh, it's been a great day already, hasn't it? And the fun is not over. We've got a lot more in store. I can see you over there, Captain <laughs> Christy. Ma'am. What are you doing exactly? I was trying to hide from you so when he, you wouldn't find me. Oh, well that's an interesting fact. You know, there was another pirate who definitely was known for hiding from his attackers. He liked to elude the authorities at all case. His name was Jean Bartet. He was a Frenchman. Do you like French fries? <laughs> I don't think so. But I will tell you that he was captured once, and you know what happened? He got away on a rowboat. <laughs> Oh, did he row, row, row the boat gently down the stream? <laughs> no, I don't think so. But this pirate captured more than 200 ships in his pirating career, even though he himself was hard to capture. And like I said, he was good at hiding. But you know what? I was thinking about that very thing. You know, the story about him hiding and being good at hiding reminds me of someone else that we're going to talk about later that was good at hiding, but yet still was caught. You know, Jean Barté, that's a pretty amazing story about him eluding capture. Almost sounds like a really cool movie to watch, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it does. Or like a play to see on the stage of this pirate that goes places. But you oh. know what? You know what? That God, no matter what, is always with us. And this person that I'm thinking of, he's going to discover that God was with him too. Uh, well, Captain Crispy. Yeah? Who do you have with you? I'm Professor Gertie. Well, hello, Professor Gertie. <laughs> nice to meet you. You too. What do you like to do, Professor? Uh, well, I explore the island and I like to tell people knock knock jokes. <gasps> Are, wait a second. Are you Gertie the animal exploring goat? Of course I am. Here's our animal specialist uh, on the island. She loves to go around and observe them. But wait a second. <laughs> you said you like knock knock jokes? I love knock knock jokes. All right, I got one for you. Ready? Knock knock. Who's there? Frank. Uh, Frank who? Frank you for the coconut. <laughs> <laughs> That's a knee slapper. All right, I got one more for you. What? Knock, knock. Who's there? Annie. Uh, Annie who? Anybody want to go for a swim? <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Gertie. That was great to laugh. And I hope you'll stick around and see some more adventures here on Mystery Island. I am. I've had so many adventures already. Aw, oh, you're a good goat. But you know what? That reminds me. We've got a few other things in store. So boys and girls, here next we have an amazing verse just for you from God's Word. And then following that, some more fun in store. Uh, Gertie, why don't you show me some of the interesting animals? I found one outside yesterday. Can you come and I'll ask you uh, uh, yeah. what it is? Yeah, I'm coming! Oh, hi boys and girls. My name is Angie. I'm the treasured verse keeper. And I'm here on Mystery Island looking for clues to help us on our adventure. I'm looking for a Bible verse. A memory verse from God's Word, the Bible. Oh, I see one. I see one. It says, great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Psalm 145, 3. What does that mean? It means God is good. God is great. He loves us so much that he sent his son to die for our sins so that we can go to heaven. And we should praise him and thank him every day, no matter what. So can you help me say it? Can you say it with me? You ready? Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. Psalm 145.3. Now let me see if the rest of my crew has found that clue. Let's see if I can find the verse now. Oh look, it's right over there. Say it with me, kids. 
Psalm 145.3. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Now let's see if the rest of our crew can find it. Can you help me find the verse with the rest of the crew? Let's see if we can find it. There it is. I see it. Great, great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Now say it with me. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. I think I found the verse. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. I did find it. I see it. I see it. Hey kids, there's a verse. Say it with me. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Ahoy kids! Welcome to Mystery Islands Deep Sea Crafts. We're gonna make something really fun with you. Now here on our island, we have beautiful trees and flowers. And one of our favorite is the palm tree. So here's what you need. You need empty toilet paper rolls. I'm sure everyone has a few of these lying around these days. If for some reason you don't, you can also use a paper towel roll and just cut it in half. So make sure each person that's making one has their own roll of toilet paper roll or a paper towel empty roll. You're going to need scissors. Safety scissors. Ask mom and dad before you can just grab the scissors. You also need some green scissors. construction paper or if you want to use white and then color it green, that's okay too. And then you might want to have like some more construction paper for the bottom of your palm tree to put it on. Mm -hmm. We chose yellow, kind of gives us that sand. Sandy. Or you could do blue for water if your palm tree for some reason was growing out of <laughs> the water. Or you could go with even like a sand color to make it look like sand. So the first step you're going to do is you're going to cut your palm leaves out. So you need about six of them. One side will be straight and then the other side kind of curves down to give it that leafy. So I've done four. I'm going to cut two more. I've done mine and also another thing is handy if you have little slits that gives it the little palm tree-ness, you know? That's right. So I also did some of mine. I drew little slits, but I still have three that don't have slits in them. So, so I'm she's going to cut do. those little slits. That gives it that leafy, branchy effect. Awesome. Make sure you always clean up your trash. Don't leave it for anyone else. And there's our trash can over there. Nice shot! Slam dunk. All right, so now that I've cut my palm leaves out, I'm going to just cut little slits, not all the way through. And it doesn't matter how many. You can do three or four or six or seven. I did ten. Mm, ten's a good one, too. Gives it more of that leafy texture. I think my well, it's a beautiful day here on Mystery Island. I just have one more to draw, do slits in. Okay. Ooh. Then I'll be able to put them on my palm See that? tree. Ooh, nice. So as Captain Crispy is finishing up, here's what you need to do with your toilet paper roll. At I'm the done. very top, you need to cut just six little slits. See that? Six slits, just like that. That's where we're going to put our palm branches in. So once the six slits have been cut all the way around, you're going to take your branch and the part that has the little cuts at the bottom for your leaf, you're going to insert one of those into that slit. See that? Oh, I'm sure your palm tree looks so great, guys. Ooh, it's looking good. And you keep going all the way around. I did one! Oh, that looks very good. I have one of my leaves that I need to cut still. Three. I did four, two. Five. How's your palm tree coming, boys and girls? We don't have too many steps left to do. I'm almost done. This palm tree will not go in. Palm trees are really, really big trees. They can be huge and tall. Isn't God amazing how he could create such an amazing feature? 
So now what I'm going to do is I have the, the palm tree finished, but I'm gonna take that yellow piece of paper, I kinda cut it out to make it look uneven to give it a more natural effect, and I'm gonna write my Bible verse on here. You know God is great. Just how great those palm trees are, God truly is great. And I loved learning about our Bible verse a few moments ago. So I'm gonna write with a pen, but you can use a crayon or a pencil or markers. Make it look awesome. Make it your own because you are unique and you are so special the way God made you. So I'm gonna write my Bible verse. I'm gonna save that one for later because it won't go in. Oh, sometimes you have to kind of go back and try again. I'm gonna write, great is the Lord. And what's the next part? Greatly to be served. Greatly to be praised. Greatly to be praised. I guess it's good to serve God too, isn't it? But we're going to praise him in our Bible verse. Okay, and I did my Greatly to tree. be praised. What do you think about my palm tree, Kelly? Oh, looks really nice. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the glue down on our base of our yellow, which is going to help us to install our palm tree. I'm gonna write my Bible verse now. You go ahead and you write your Bible verse. Great. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. And don't forget to put where it's from. Psalm, can you say that boys and girls? Psalm 145, three. Good job. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Woohoo! All right. Ooh. Hey, that's looking great. You know, we can encourage one another. Maybe you're sitting there and doing your craft with your brother or sister. It's always nice and helpful to help one another and encourage them. Just a few moments ago, Chris needed a little help with our leaf. And as I helped her, that was just us being kind and being good friends, right? Yeah. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Psalm 145.3. Oh. Ooh. Good job. So now I'm gonna move on. I use glitter glue, but you can use regular glue or you can even use tape or something else like that. But the point is, you're going to put it right around in a big goopy circle so that way it stays and it won't move. Okay. Okay? Once you're done, can I please have it? Yes, here you go. Thank you. Thanks for being so polite, Captain Crispy. You're welcome. All right, got it? Uh, Would you like oh. some help? Yes, please. I would love to help you. You hold your paper still. And okay. I'll put the glue around. Awesome. I love glitter glue, especially when it's pink. Awesome. And glitter glue makes it fun that even if some of it drapes over, it looks sparkly. Yeah. And All right. Now you're going to take your palm tree and you're going to attach it to that big circle right there on your paper. Ooh. Of course, you're going to let it dry, but when it's all finished, you're going to have a nice little scenery that says, Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Here it is. I love it. Have fun making your palm tree. We'd love to see pictures of your finished craft. Go ahead and post them in the comments on this video and we would love to be able to share our creation with you and get to see how you did it. We'll see you soon. See you soon.